Não sai esse. No size, I love it. No size, I love it. And my jeans are eight. Hey, everybody. You guys are probably wondering why I filmed the clothes, the sizes in the clothes. I gotta tell you guys, um, you know, we just got a new house. This is my new office. It's not quite put together yet, but we're getting there. Let me turn this around and show you what I'm looking at. Uh -huh. Pretty cool, huh? Every window you look out here, you see nature. Um, I feel like I'm camping all the time. I get up in the morning, I feel like I'm camping. In the afternoon, I, I smell people's fires around us. I feel like I'm camping. I love it here. So, anyway, this is kind of where my space is right now. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. We'll see what happens. So, why did I film myself showing you guys all the sizes of my clothes in the closet? Because, okay, so I was in the master closet and I'm rearranging the clothes and, you know, getting things hung up and put away and stuff. You know, getting organized, right? We've, we've been here about three weeks and we're trying to get organized and stuff. And all of a sudden, it dawned on me that all the sizes of my clothes were smalls or medium. And I, I started going through them really fast. I'm like, there's a couple that don't have sizes. There's like three or four things that don't have sizes. And there's a couple oversized, like, swimming suit, those things that go over your swimming suits. Um, this one big white flowy shirt that I just love, especially when I'm outside gardening and stuff. And you can see I've been getting some sun, a big garden. Wow, it's kicking my butt. Um, so anyway, uh, I was going through and I thought, that'd be kind of a fun little video. And, and it'd be a way for me to kind of document the journey. So I've been in maintenance now for about mm, three or four months. At least since April, April, May. No, March. Must have been March. Anyway, a while. A while. And I'm doing really good and it's easy. And here's the thing. Okay, first of all, I've never thought that I would ever feel thin. Because I've been chubby since I was eight or nine. You know, I was always that chubby kid. I was always the chubby teenager. I was the chubby wife. You know, I had an ex-husband one time who bought me a t-shirt that said, I don't skinny dip, I chunky duck. And it hurt my feelings so bad, but it was the truth. You know, I mean, I was that chunky, chubby wife, you know. And when I first started losing weight this time, it was the first time ever in my life, because I've lost weight probably, I don't know, 15, 20 times, right? And this was the first time ever that I told my husband, I said, I feel thin. I feel what it feels like to, to feel a thin, normal size. And I've never felt that before. Always before when I lost weight, I still felt bigger. I still saw myself bigger. And this time I don't. Like, I'll be doing the same thing sometimes. I'll say, whoa, look how skinny my arm is. Or, or whoa, look at my legs or something, you know, because it, it still catches me off guard. But I can feel it this time, you guys. I actually can feel it. And I can feel that it's a permanent thing. And I don't know how to explain to you how I can feel that, but I can feel that. I feel like this is it. You know, this is it. You you, you found the you found the little gold, you know, part of the, in the rainbow or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just easy and breezy and... And the things I can do, I'm working four and five hours a day gardening and I'm doing hard stuff. I'm, I told my husband, I said, you should film some of this. I'm hauling buckets of dirt and gravel. I'm, oh my God, you wouldn't believe the stuff we're doing. Climbing up and down these hillsides, doing things to them. And we're cutting trees and we're trimming things and we're digging up things. And oh my God, there's so much work to be done here. But it's, we, we're, it's a labor of love. We, we're loving it. And we got things in the house that we're redoing, pulling up carpets and changing out covers and just, wow, a lot. It's a lot. Um, but it's fun and we're both loving it. And um, and I'm fit enough to do it. I'm thin enough that I can bend over. Man, there's one thing that I was doing the other day. I had to bend over every five seconds. My stomach got the best workout ever. My stomach actually was cramping by the time I was done. Now, I had, by the end of the day, every day, one day I worked eight hours and I felt like I was dead at the end of the day. But you know what? I recovered. I was great the next day. The other day I had a little accident, sliced my arm on a tree. This is the arm that from my stroke, I don't really feel things on it very well. I mean, it doesn't have the same kind of nerve endings. So I didn't even feel this and it bled really bad at first. So my husband freaked out, um, but it's already healing. It's only been two days. You know, I heal really well. That's another thing. I heal so fast now. I got all these scrapes and owies and stuff out working in the garden and they heal up in a few days. And it's like, hmm, that's cool. I feel like my immune system is like chugging right along, right? So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was such a stunning, happy surprise. And I did promise you guys that I was going to show you how this trip was going and how, how the journey continues after you reach goal. And it's so easy to stay here. And I got to tell you guys something, too. You know how before I was, I was really 
pushing you guys or, or suggesting that you eat six to eight cups of greens or even more, you know, I remember eating 10 to 12 cups a, a few times. Um, so when you lose weight, you know, automatically when you, when you get smaller, you eat smaller, right? I mean, that's just the way it goes. You can't, you can't eat the same amount at 140 pounds as you did at 260 pounds is what I'm saying. You know, you just can't because that's how you get to 260 pounds, right? So between the wrong foods and too much of them. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't eat like I used to. I don't, I don't need the same amount of food. The really weird thing is we worked like six hours a night. I wasn't even hungry. I said, wow, my appetite, the intermittent fasting really just killed my appetite mostly. Um, one night I was starving, one night I wasn't hungry at all. I mean, it was just so crazy. Um, but I don't get hungry all the time. I don't crave things. I don't want things. I'm not sitting around drooling and thinking about the next meal. It's, it's a, it's a nice life. It really is a nice life. And we do have a boot camp coming up. If anybody's interested, let me know. You got to contact me because our boot camp starts on June 12th and we have a Zoom meeting on June 7th or June 11th to let everybody know exactly what's going to be going on. And there's a waiver registration you have to fill out and stuff. So if you want to try this, if you want to do it, contact me at camiblack underscore ll at yahoo.com because seriously, yeah, you guys might want to do the boot camp. Might be worth it for you. Um, yeah, that's really all I got, I guess, because I see the sun starting to peek out and I got some more gardening I got to do. And I've got about four hours of uh, light if I get out there and push myself. And so I think I'm going to go do that. So, ciao, everybody. Bye.